In this video, we will use the ring counter as a state counter to generate a repeated bit sequence. In the previous video, we constructed a ring counter from a chain of D flip-flops. The ring was completed by feeding the Q output of the last flip-flop into the D input of the first flip-flop. A single one was loaded into the first flip-flop of the chain. Subsequent to this load, the one cycles around the ring of flip-flops. Seen as a unitary device, the ring counter can be used to trigger a repeating series of actions. As the one cycles through each flip-flop, the position of the activated line can be used to perform a particular action at that point of the cycle. For this reason, the ring counter can be thought of as a state counter, and the outputs of the ring counter can be labeled as states starting from zero at the left. The ring counter would then cycle through these states in order to perform the required repeated function. The easiest illustration of this state counter is the production of a repeating sequence. In this example, we will produce a repeating sequence of four bits. The generation of these four bits can be seen as a four-state process, one state for the generation of each bit. This is best shown in a state diagram, showing the generation of each bit in a four-state repeating process. This is implemented using a four-bit ring counter, one bit for each state. The cycling of the activated line will cycle through the four required states. In this case, the required output is obtained by feeding it through an OR gate from those states which are required to produce an output of 1. Thus, as the ring counter cycles, the sequence of states will produce the required output. It is easy to adapt this idea to more complicated multi-bit outputs. Suppose we wish to design a traffic light with the following repeating sequence. Red, red-yellow, green, and yellow. This is a four-state sequence. We draw the state diagram showing the four states and the values of the red, yellow, and green outputs for each state. For example, for the initial S0 state, the red bit is 1, the yellow bit is 0, and the green bit is also 0. As for the single bit sequence, we connect each output through an OR gate to the state that will set that output to 1. Thus, the red output will be connected to states S0 and S1. The yellow output will be connected to the states S1 and S3. The green output is connected to S2. Since the green output is high for only one state, no OR gate is required. Once more, as the ring counter cycles, the required output sequence will be generated.